We saw in the cosine rule that we wanted to make a non-right angle triangle version of Pythagoras' theorem. Well, with the sine rule, <coughs> we want to make a non-right angle triangle version of Sokotoa. That's the way I like to think about it. So here we go. Here's our triangle. Angle A, angle C, angle B. Here is my line down the middle, which I'm going to introduce to try and work something out. These sides are labeled A, B, and C, and I want another formula that links A's, B's, and C's. And here we've got angle H. Sorry, not angle H, li li a line that we're labeling H, which is a vertical that I'm dropping down there. Now I'm going to label this angle A here and this angle B here. So what do we have? We have sine of angle B. If we just look in this right angle triangle here, then we can see sine of angle B equals H over A. And if I look in just this right angle triangle over here now, sine of angle A equals H over B. And if I work with that, I get H equals A sine B and H equals B sine A. And if I put those two equations together, I get A sine B equals B sine A. Now, in a way, that might be a more useful version of the cosine rule to work with because what we tend to do is write it like this or like this. And you can see that both of those come from here just depending on what we divide through by. So we get this version of the cosine rule and this version of the cosine rule and <clears throat> it doesn't matter what's labelled A in the question, what's labelled B in the question. What this is, is a side and the angle opposite, a side and the angle opposite. Okay, so you often see it written as A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C, just to emphasise that this, this sort of pairing of the side divided by the sine of the angle opposite is equal for any sides that you can deal with, the A's, the B's, or the C's. Um, as I said in the first video on cosine rule, the problem is, what if your triangle isn't labelled the right way around, the A's, B's, and C's aren't where you want them to be? You could relabel the triangle, so that it works, you know, that the A's and B's and C's are where you want them to be. Um, so just copy the diagram and put your own labels on it. Or you could just get used to the idea that it's opposite pairs. So this side divided by the side of, sine of that angle equals this side divided by the sine of that angle. And it doesn't matter what they're labelled. Uh, same thing here, this side divided by the sine of that angle, this side divided by the sine of that angle. Now we have the sine rule and the cosine rule. So we have to think a little bit more about which one we're going to apply in different situations. If you look at the formulas, you'll see the cosine rule only has one angle involved. Now that might not be they give you one angle, that might be that they ask, are asking you to find one angle, but there's only one angle involved in the question at all. The sine rule has two angles and two sides involved. So just look at the question. If there are two angles involved, maybe sine rule's a bit quicker. Uh, if there's one angle involved, maybe it's cosine rule. But sometimes that doesn't really work. Sometimes you, there are two angles involved, but you need to use cosine rule to find the first one. And then the fact that um, angles in a triangle add up to 180 will find you the other one because there's another fact somewhere in the question which will tell you about the third angle. Um, you need to use a bit of judgment. But we've got Sokotoa, Pythagoras theorem. They work on right angle triangles. We've got sine rule and cosine rule. They work on any triangle. So if those things, uh, you know, if, if there's only a few things to try, so if you've got a trigonometry problem, try each of those things. If you've done plenty of practice on exercise uh, 9a and b, and well, the rest of the chapter as well, really, hopefully you'll be confident with the, um, with the trigonometry. There is one extra little bit, which is not GCSE, and I'll deal with in a separate video, and it's here at the bottom, page 183. So that'll do, uh, I'll do that in the next video.